Hey guys, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to solve a common exam type sequences question. Okay, so let's get started. Right. So if you're given a sequence, right, the first thing you need to do is you need to determine whether the given sequence is an earth is in an arithmetic, a quadratic, or geometric series, right? So that you can know which formula you're supposed to apply to get the formula for the nth term of the sequence, okay? All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's determine what kind of a sequence. Let's determine which um, sequence we are working with first, okay? So let's do that, okay? We are given four. We are given a 4, a 10, a 16, right? So the first thing you need to do, you need to take your term 2 minus your term, term 2 minus your term 1, and you need to take your term 3 minus your term 2 and see what we get. So 10 minus 4 is equal to 6, and 16 minus 10 is equal to 6, right? So what do we see here? What we see here is that our first, we get a first common difference, okay? So we get a first common difference of 6, right? Okay. So when we get a first common difference, that tells us that our sequence is in fact an arithmetic sequence, okay? So we can get started, okay? So now we know that our sequence is in... An arithmetic sequence, okay? So which formula do we use for the uh, for an arithmetic sequence? Okay, so this formula is going to be given to you guys in the formula sheet uh, for your um, your um, mathematics paper on exam, right? So let's just have a look here. So this is the formula sheet, just half um, of the formula sheets because I've cut it. Um, so what's important is that you guys need to know uh, which formula um, is the correct formula for an arithmetic sequence, right? So, so this is the formula that we use for when you're working with an arithmetic sequence, right? And then that's the formula that we are going to use to get the formula for the nth term. Okay, guys. Okay, so let's get started. So let's continue, actually. So we already know that now we're working with an arithmetic sequence, so we can start working out our A, right? So our A asks us to determine a formula for the nth term of the sequence, okay? Determine the formula for the nth term of the sequence. Okay, so that's our A. Okay, we already know that the formula for an, an arithmetic sequence is equal to TA, TN, A plus, right, N minus 1 multiplied by D, right? Let's just go through what all our uh, variables mean. So our A, this is for, this is basically the first term. You substitute the first term, right? The N is the position. This is the position of a term in a sequence, okay? And then your D is, your D, right? Your D is your common difference. Okay, so from what we've worked out already, right, we found that our A, the first term is 4. So now we're just going to do a direct substitution, guys, right? So from the formula, right, Tn is equal to A is our first term, and our first term we found that to be, it's 4, right, plus your N minus 1, and the common difference is the 6 that we calculated there right you put that down there and then you basically simplify right you've got a 4 
plus you can simply take the six to the front and you'll be uh, and then if you just distribute your brackets you'll get a six in minus six okay simplify this further it's going to be six in and positive four minus six is equal to minus two okay and then we're done guys so basically now we have calculated the formula for the nth term using our first term and the common difference that we found okay moving on second question calculate the 50th term what is this question asking for me it wants you to calculate the value of the term that is in the 50th position okay i hope i'm not confusing you guys All right so we need to calculate the value of the term that is in the 50th position on the number pattern okay so we already know that our formula let me just do this guys so that i don't confuse you guys right we already know that the formula for the nth term of the sequence is tn is equal to 6n minus 2 right so to calculate the 50th term we simply take the formula that we have already calculated which is tn is equal to uh 6n minus 2 they want you to calculate the 50th term right so when our n is equal to 50 right so t 50th is equal to t you substitute 50 where you see n minus 2 and your answer is going to be you simply punch in your calculator guys let's not complicate things and you get 298 okay so the 50th term on the sequence is going to be 298 all right, guys, this is nice. These questions are nice. You can actually ace these questions in your exam, provided that provided you know what to do. Okay, provided you've watched my videos. <laughs> okay, guys, let's continue. See which term of the sequence is equal to 310. What is this question asking you? Okay, it is asking you um, which term, right, of the sequence is equal to 310. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a seat, your um, formula for your nth term again, which is equal to, I'm just going to move this guys again like that. So your formula for your nth term is, so this is C, it's T N is equal to 6 N minus 2. They want you to determine the N, right? Because they already give you. They already gave you that it is equal to 310, right? So you're going to substitute the 310, right? And you are simply looking for the position of this 310 on the sequence, okay? Guys, here you are simply solving for N. So it's going to be 310 plus 2 which is going to be equal to 6n okay? and then therefore your n is equal to is going to be equal to 310 plus 2 divided by 6 simply punch into your calculator let's not complicate things and your n is going to be 52 so the 52nd term on the sequence is equal to the value of the 50 uh, second term 52 <laughs> the value of the 52nd term on the sequence is equal to 310 okay guys and that is it for arithmetic sequences okay guys so i'm just going to do a quick recap because i love doing recaps right you're given a sequence 4 10 and 16 right the first thing you need to do you need to determine whether you're working with an arithmetic a geometric or quadratic sequence right 
We found that we are working with an arithmetic sequence because we found a first common difference, right? And then from there, you can answer the questions, right? Determine the formula for the nth term of the sequence. We already know that if you're working with an arithmetic sequence, right? Going to your formula sheet, the formula that you use for an arithmetic sequence is given as, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, Tn is equal to A plus open bracket N minus 1 times close brackets times D. Okay, so that's the formula that you use when you are working with an arithmetic sequence. You write the formula down, you substitute the value of A, and we set the value of A as your first term. We substitute the value of D, and we set that D is a position of the term in a sequence. I mean, sorry, uh, we say D is the common difference, right? And then you simply uh, put, you substitute those values into your equation, and then you simplify to get the formula for the nth term, right? Number B, they asked you to calculate the 50th term, right? So basically, they want you to calculate the value of the term that is in the 50th position, in your number pattern, right? And that is 298. We simply use the formula that we calculated here and then we substituted 50 and we got it to be 298. And last question, which term of the sequence is equal to 310, right? So we know that there's a, a term on the sequence that is equal to 310. We want to determine the position of that term on our sequence, right? So basically what you do is where you've got TN, you substitute 310 and then we are looking for the position of the of the uh, of that term which is n and then you simply just solve for n guys okay so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel if you love this content and um i'll see you guys on my next upload thank you guys goodbye